It's almost midnight in Kandahar City, and U.S. Army soldiers from the 3rd Squadron, 2nd Cavalry Regiment's Iron Troop are on the move. They are rolling, slow and steady, down Highway 1 in southern Afghanistan. The troop is part of a new style of route clearance called Cab T. It's a little different than the previous route clearance operations. Uh, it was renamed into Cab T, which stands for Combined Arms Breach Team. And how it's different from previous uh, classification of route clearance, it combines, as the name suggests, our strikers, our infantry uh, maneuver vehicles with engineer assets that clear the route, as well as with aviation assets like the helicopters and Apaches that support us along the route. The mission here is to clear a stretch of highway for IEDs, improvised explosive devices, all the way from forward operating base Pasab in Zari District to Kandahar City and back. Clearing the Mission Essential Highway is priority number one for the troops based in the area. Highway 1 is like the, the lifeline. It helps enables uh, ISAF, ANSAF, JAROA uh, elements be able to maneuver freely uh, throughout the area. Uh, that's anywhere from uh, going through and clearing certain villages to uh, lo logistical operations. At this point in 3rd Squadron's deployment, they consider the highway to be split into two different sections. Out east, from Zari to Kandahar City, is deemed relatively safe. Multiple Afghan security force checkpoints can be seen along that stretch, a sign of the Afghans taking security into their own hands, the troops say. Out west, heading towards Maywan District, a major corridor for drug trafficking in the region, the striker units have hit multiple IEDs while patrolling off but near Highway 1. Usually it's pretty quiet, you know. You know, the past couple we just hit small IEDs that, you know, that don't really, don't really mess us up too bad. Originally there were two battalions, one in Maywan and one in Zari, but Retrograde has forced 3rd Squadron to cover both districts stretching them thin and forcing the Afghan security forces to pick up the excess territory. Here with the uh, partnership with the ANSAP forces, uh, they really have this area on a lockdown with a lot of checkpoints. Just looking at it differently from Zari, Maywan has less uh, checkpoints. There are other ISAF uh, elements out there that are a little bit further west, but they're not as robust as uh, what we might have. What we've experienced is the Taliban likes to use those big open areas to, to set up free of, of U.S. intervention or ANSAF, the Afghan local intervention. So when we're driving through the more populated areas like you saw with us today, it lowers the threat because the Taliban doesn't like to interfere with the, the locals. But when we get out to the more sparse open desert terrain, that's when it becomes a little bit of a greater risk to us. The troops make their way back to Zari. No IEDs found, but more importantly to the troops, no IEDs hit. Iron Troop will transfer their area of operation to another U.S. unit next year, before it's eventually handed over completely to the Afghan security forces. In Zari District, Afghanistan, Alex Penna, Stars and Stripes.